Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Crypto Gorilla video. I'm a Crypto Gorilla. This is my pretty, pretty princess. Today, we're gonna to talk about some upcoming projects. As usual, nothing in this video is financial advice. And if you haven't already done so, would you kindly hit that subscribe button? Now, I grew up playing Diablo 2. The amount of hours I've put into that game, I cannot even count. So straight out the gate, it's very easy for me to fall in love with this one, purely due to nostalgic reasons. Now, the project in question is Seraph Into the Darkness. And if we put Seraph and Diablo 2 side by side, they look incredibly similar in terms of gameplay, loot drops, the levels, the layout with the health mana skills and even the characters and their attacks like the barbarian has whirlwind the amazon has lightning fury the sorceress has blizzard and frozen orb and even the skill trees in the white paper look very similar to these skill trees from diablo 2 but all this does seem to be by design if you check tobin's twitter who is the founder of this game however it is worth noting this is a brand new account made in october he mentions in his bio he is a diehard diablo 2 fan and he also has this tweet where he says says Diablo was his childhood. So this game does seem to be his love letter to Diablo 2, but in Web3 with play to earn or own to earn, whatever you want to call it, mechanics. Now, if we take a look at the roadmap on their website, you'll see that they did already launch one NFT back in June of this year, which we can find on OpenSea. And it has done well in the last two months. Since early September, it has pulled a 5X from 0.1 all the way up to 0.5. However, they do have future activations in Q4 of this year. So within the next two months, they will have a Genesis NFT presale for which they mentioned on the Twitter, their Discord is opening on Friday the 27th. And on Tobin's Twitter, he does say this is a gateway to whitelist. So I'm assuming there's going to be some Discord grinding mechanics. But if we continue onto the roadmap sometime in 2024, they will have a Seraph token, ticker symbol SRF, which we could see in the white paper here. It mentions that this is going to be a core token of the game as you're going to need it to identify items, craft equipment and so on now they also mention that you will be able to earn the token by ranking high in the pvp leaderboard so there will be some play to earn mechanics and finally in the roadmap they also mentioned there's going to be a soul nft airdrop i have no idea what this nft is going to be but i like the word airdrop next up we have vendetta games with chalk river now this is set in the wild west it does remind me a bit of an early version of red dead redemption and the world that they're building is going to have a ton of games built with in it, including PVP gambling, a zombie horde mode, as well as a forge mode where you could build and edit your own town. Now, the NFT collection for this is going to be a small supply of 888 pieces, and it's going to be a free mint. Now, they will have more NFTs in the future, so I assume the Genesis NFT is going to act as some sort of access pass. And if we check their website, you can also see they'll also have their own token. So I assume by holding the Genesis NFT, we can hopefully get some free token airdrops. So this does hit three different metas, the small supply slash free mint, the gaming meta, and the one that's trending the most right now, the NFTs that lead to a token airdrop. Now, this project is also backed by Vulcan Forge, which is a Web3 native gaming studio that is developing multiple games. They also have their own layer one solution called Elysium. I'm less familiar with this one, but I'm assuming that it's built for games. So fast transaction speed, low transaction costs. Now, as for the game, they currently don't have a white paper on their website so i can't do that deep of a dive into this one however i have spoken to the team who will be adding a white paper and updating the website in the near future so we'll check back once they have more information next on the list we have way to gods and while there's no information available on their twitter or no website that they link to all we have is this trailer that they tweeted it's actually the same core team behind the project mataria that recently minted and has been performing quite well on the secondary market i know they have some activations going on on their website they also have their lucium token and since this is their second token i'm assuming there's going to be some sort of access by holding mataria nft for way to gods whether that's a guaranteed mint or even a free airdrop now just to be clear this isn't a gen 2 it's a collection that stands on its own it's going to be a brand slash ip play and it does have a movie attached to it called looking for gods which has been in production for two years and they're partnered with the same art studio that helped produce kung fu panda Final Fantasy, 
God of War, and a bunch more. Now, they did also hint to me that they do have a partnership with a company as big as Walmart, as they put it. I don't know what the company is, but it does seem that there's going to perhaps be some IRL utility from holding their NFT. Next on the list, we have Persona, which I know many of you have probably already heard of because it's on a bunch of people's watch list. However, they have gamified their website, so there are activations available to try to earn whitelist. So you are able to earn points doing different tasks. One of them is referrals. So I will put a referral link in the description down below. However, if you visit their website, you'll be able to see a lot of the current missions are pretty much social engagements. So connect your Twitter, connect your discord and follow them, like their posts, retweets, you know, the drill. Now, I still don't know too much about this project. I have heard really good things through the grapevine, let's say, but for me personally, I really like the art style of this project. And dare I say the vibes. Now, another project that has questing is Skyark. I spoke about this project, I believe two weeks ago, where I did a much deeper dive. So I'll link that video above if you wanted to listen to it. However, if you go to their website and you have a code, you're able to sign up and start doing daily tasks. So they have both these daily check-ins where you can get points as well as daily quizzes. And unfortunately, I can't show you while filming this video because the website is currently under maintenance. However, whenever you complete the tasks, you are earning tokens. This is not a real token, it's a fake token, but I'm assuming there's going to be a correlation between the tokens you earn here and the eventual token that they've already confirmed they're going to be launching. Now, if you don't have a code and you aren't able to participate on the website, you can also do activations in their discord. They are using the engage bot, which a ton of servers have started using, including my own. And this is a great way to reward people who support you on social media. So in the near future, you can look out. I'm going to be giving away some whitelists. I'm also going to be giving away some free NFTs. And to join that, all you have to do is is join my discord and sign up to engage and start supporting me on social media. However, if you're in the Skyarc discord, they're also doing this with some raffles. Now I often get asked, do you think it's going to be worth the grind? Like, do you think meme coins going to be worth it? What price do you think it's going to go to? Look, I have no idea what price is going to go to, but when I look at Skyarc, like they have a dope team, they have already developed three good looking games. They are backed by Binance. They're in the Binance incubation program. I'm assuming they're going to launch their token through Binance. And like, we said gaming is currently the meta and everybody expects it to be the biggest meta in the next bull run so for me personally I'm doing the daily sign-ins. I'm doing the daily quizzes because I want to get as much of this token as I can. Last on the list is a project called Gruff. Now, unfortunately, I'm late to the party with this one. The whitelist signup did already expire and it is a very low supply collection. So good luck getting whitelist. However, I personally am digging the artwork and this is kind of like an art PFP. Now, I don't know too much about him as an artist. I just discovered him. However, he does have a foundation that has some pretty good sales and I really dig his art style here he has some pieces that seem to be based on the silver surfer this piece really reminds me of like the joker as well as this one this one is like a different version of x copy i'm assuming but his latest version he did a 10 piece collection and i really dig this piece it looks dope so i really like his art style and even though i'm a flipper at heart i could still appreciate some good art so hopefully his pfp does well especially if you have whitelist but i'm just letting you know this is one of the projects i'm going to keep an eye on that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, would you kindly hit that subscribe button, smash that bell notification. Thank you for watching the Crypto Gorilla. Peace.